When Instagram announced the link sticker, a lot of people jumped on the trend of linking to things like products, offers, podcasts, and YouTube videos. The problem is that the stickers don't look very good. Sometimes they don't match the look of your story or your brand. After someone saw a custom link sticker in my stories a couple of weeks ago, they asked me how I did that, which prompted today's video. My name is Roger Coles, and today I'm gonna teach you how you can create custom branded link stickers for your Instagram stories. Let's get to it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is find a template that we can customize in Canva. I'm gonna choose this one right here because it's sized for stories already, which is gonna make it a lot easier to customize. Once we've got that open, you can customize it to your own fonts and your own colors, anything that matches your existing brand. I'm gonna pretend that this is my brand, even though it's not, just for the sake of time. The next step is to reconfigure it so that we can add some space to add in a button. So to do that, I'm gonna delete this line right here and I'm gonna pull this down and we'll grab both of those text blocks and bring them up. One thing to keep in mind is to always leave a little bit of margin at the top and bottom of your stories. Too many times people crowd their stories and put links in places that people can't actually click. Let me show you what I mean. Here's an example of what Instagram recommends for safe margins. At the top, about 250 pixels. At the bottom, about 250 pixels. And then in the middle, that's your safe zone. If you were really being particular about how much space you wanted to leave and you wanted exactly 250 pixels, then you could just tap the R key to create a rectangle, resize it, and you'll notice these little numbers right here start to change as I move it and resize it. So you could go straight to 250 if you wanted to. I'm not gonna be that particular about it for today. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So here we go, I'm gonna bring this up and now we've got a little bit of space between the text block and the phone for our button. To find a button, I'm gonna go to the elements tab and search for pill plus shape. And we're gonna resize this and position it to the center. And then we'll choose one of the colors that are already in the photo that's a darker color since we know that the text is gonna be a light color. So we'll go with something like this. And this is gonna become our call to action button. To stay consistent, I'm gonna use the fonts that are already in the template. So I'm just going to copy this one here and change the color to a light color. And the call to action will be tap here to shop. The next step is to duplicate this artboard, which we can do by clicking on this icon right here. And we're gonna delete everything except the button. Boom and boom. Next up, we'll download the first image as a PNG. We'll go to page two and we'll download that as a PNG with a transparent background. Next, you'll want a way that you can get these images to your phone. You can either do that through AirDrop, which is what I'm going to do, or you could email it to yourself. There's a lot of different ways for you to get these images on your phone. So we'll AirDrop these. Now let's head to Instagram. So here we are in Instagram and we're gonna create a new story. We'll find the image that's the full image that includes the button and bring that in and then click on the sticker button and go to the link sticker. And here's where you punch in whatever link that you want to redirect your followers to. So in my case, we'll say my social designer.com done. And it brings in our sticker. Now it's a little bit big, so I'm gonna resize that to about the same size as the button. And now this is why we saved the next image as a PNG with a transparent background because we're gonna put that button right on top. So we'll go back to the sticker button and go down to the photo sticker. And here we'll grab in just the button and we're gonna resize that to fit right on top of the other button. And now we can share it to our stories. So go next, share. Done. And now you can see when I open up my story and I tap on that button, users will be redirected to the link that you've chosen. It's a great way to have a call to action right within your Instagram stories. If you wanna use the template that you saw today, then click the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and follow along for more Canva and content creation tips. Thank you so much for watching today. Now it's time for you to go create something amazing. I'll see you next time.